Right, that's everything. Goose's new Apple CarPlay. We've got the Oying 7 inch display. So the one he's got at the minute is the 5 inch. So that's the display. Ball mounts. Two wires. Positive and negative. And the ball mount clamp. So first, we'll remove his old one before we put this one on. That's the old one removed. Now, we put the new one on. Right, you hold that there. One washer. Two washer. Same one anyway, so yeah. I'll, use it. I'll put that on. Yeah. yeah. Well, best tighten the bracket up first. You know what I mean, Heather? Watch, I'm just thinking. Right. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Like that. Where you get it? Unless you want to get down the back of it. That's it, that's underneath. Great. Okay, put the ignition on. Well, that was quite easy to install. Just a ball mount. Positive, negative. Right then. So let's try this eyeing seven-inch display on Goose's bike. Connected to my phone. So that's the little intro video. Okay. Apple CarPlay. So go on to Bluetooth. Okay. It says connected. And uh, CarPlay. There we go. We're connected. So there's my music. So let's have a look at what we got. So we've got my phone. Recent phone calls. I can dial the number, I've got voicemail, I can go through my contact list, click on my favourites. I've got my music. So I use Apple Music. I've got maps. I've got messages. So what happens is it doesn't display the message so you can't read it and you can't type back to it but what it does it plays the message through your intercom and also you can use Siri because uh, I've got an Apple phone to send a message calendar settings Google Maps My route app, this is what we use to plan all our routes. 
I've got WhatsApp. Same again, that'll play back the messages to me. One unread message, I can have a new message or I can make a phone call through WhatsApp. I've got my radio and video player. So if I go back onto the screen itself, so I've got the Apple CarPlay, I've got apps, so I can put in an SD card if I want music on that, Bluetooth so I can connect my intercom to the screen, but I have my intercom connected to my phone, and then the phone connected to the screen. So any music playing on my phone is just going directly to my intercom. The screen just displays what I've got on there. A clock. set up so I can change the light mode, touch calibration sound set up, I can change the EQ background, you can change the background image you can have a screensaver I can touch there for day and night mode Bluetooth, oh sorry, that must be for connecting your phone or another device, there's the BT ear, Bluetooth ear, so that must be the one where you connect your intercom to. That's for Android Auto, TF is the memory card, there we've got set up again. Right, search. Okay, favourites. Let's go to Bala Lake. I'm not going to go there, I'm just going to set it in. And we'll have a little drive and we'll see how that goes with the navigation. But I do like that it's a 7 inch, it is nice and big. It's nice and clear, visible. It's bright enough, it's quite a bright day today. So there we go, that's rerouting me now. There we go. And then what I can do is, with my intercom, I can change music on my intercom. Playlist. Well, I have my Blink 182 playlist. There we go. The music's on. And what I can do also while the music's playing, I can flip back to the sat nav. So I can watch the maps and also have the music on in the background. There we go. So it's a really nice, clear, big display. I like that display. It's got this little sun hood at the top, just to stop a bit of the, the brightness from the sky shining on the screen. But that's really clear, that is. I like that. So it's IP67 dust and waterproof, so it could just be left on the bike. Doesn't need removing, it's just on the ram mount clamp there. So there we go, that's the Oying 7 inch Apple CarPlay Android Auto display. Does all the functions Apple CarPlay does on Android Auto, connects seamlessly to your phone and to the intercom, plays music for me, I can receive calls, I can listen back to text messages, I can send text messages via voice prompt. So it's a nice display that is. I'll put a link in the description and I'll see you on the next video.